Hello. Thank you for flying with Stinky Butt Airlines. Don't forget to pick up your baggage at the baggage claim. Welcome to Baggage Claim, episode 10. And we're a couple days late because I had a mental breakdown. (laughs) I was really so, so, so struggling, wanted to die for a couple of days. Um, So not an excuse, but a reason. Almost didn't do this episode uh, this week, but I was really like, okay, how am I going to flop on the 10th episode? And how am I going to just like, like, stop now and not be consistent on the 10th episode however on the last episode I did talk about how I was like I wanted this to be a little more special and a little more special (laughs) and a little more special uh and I was like gonna get my friend but he's at a wedding and I never even asked and I got so 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 depressed literally had like a yeah, just emotional breakdown spiral from hell. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> you're like, ah, I have eyes. Yes, for the audio listener, listeners, for the audio listeners, uh, my hair is blonde. Yes, it's bleached. If a gay bleaches his hair in the forest and no one is around to hear, is it a cry for help? <laughs> um, yes, yes it is, yes it is And it's badly bleached, I need to bleach it one more time It's like so patchy And I have purple shampoo in right now Which making is making it look even crazier uh, So t- Just Pretend it looks good I don't fucking know I'm, I'm not in a good spot <laughs> uh, Yeah, so wasn't doing well but like the second that that bleach hit my scalp babe new personality unlocked i feel amazing i did this yesterday that's what i did on saturday night instead of going out and drinking i absolutely fried my hair to look like this and i'm feeling good now like i don't know it it also has been a It's been a couple of days since I drank, and that the drink was the catalyst for my ultimate breakdown, 2023 edition. Uh, Yeah, and uh, the last episode I was talking about how I was like, oh my god, hey! We're back. (laughs) The last episode I was talking about how uh, I was like, I'm not taking my medication anymore what are you doing thank you i feel like i'm overcompensating right now because i'm finally feeling better and i'm just like happy to be alive and feeling emotions again because i was feeling so horrible and i'll get into it but yeah in the last episode i was like i'm taking less of my medication (laughs) and that was so silly silly stupid of me because then i drank for like several days straight because Halloween weekend and then actual Halloween and then yeah on that last day of Halloween I really beat a dead horse and died <laughs> beat a dead horse and I was the horse and I let out one final nay bay <laughs> shut up shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, yeah just like on a 10 right now because I'm just like so happy to I, that lust for life. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, Hello Weekend, what a success. I'll insert a picture of my first... Co- so, I uh, hung out with this guy that I met on Hinge. What's new? <laughs> What's new? Uh, and it went well, and then the next day he was like, you want to come to these Halloween parties with me and my friends? And, like, one of my friends is in New York. My other friend had some other plans. My other two friends were out of town at some anniversary or, like, wedding thing. And I was like, okay, I don't really have plans. But also, I had already been a cow for that Halloween uh, screening thing. When's the last time we talked? Did we talk about how I was a cow? I dressed up as a cow for my friend's Halloween screening thing. Anyway. So, I just, like, 
wasn't really even giving a shit about like being anything or doing anything for more Halloween festivities. I was like, uh, I'm tapped out. I'm good. Like I've had enough. Uh, but then this guy was like, come with me, my friends. And so I went with him and we bought a, we went to spirit Halloween and I feel like other people have talked about this in other podcasts, but that spirit Halloween, LA West Hollywood, whatever the fuck line it barely moved around the block like over 100 people just like stood there for however many minutes and wanted to blow my brains out so then we left and went to target and everything there was like nothing left there was like two children's princess costumes and a fucking uh couple of wigs (laughs) and so i did by myself a blue bob and at first i was like oh maybe i'm gonna be like off-duty mermaid like h2o just add water haven't added the water yet um or like uh i don't know a little bit of blue meme i don't know i ended up just being like i hmm, this is is this fucked up okay this might be fucked up but like i don't okay i hope you know where my heart lies And it lies in a good place, especially with what I've talked. But in my head, I was like non-binary Tiger King because I was giving like person with colored hair meme. Not that I think that a non-binary person looked any sort of kind of way or that I was making fun of that, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't. And I actually never even said that out loud. I was just saying that I was Tiger King, but I took a couple of liberties, um, creative liberties. So I literally just wore like a trucker hat over this blue bob. And then I wore uh, this animal print shirt that I have but it's like bright blue I'll insert a picture it was stupid bullshit um but then I went with this guy and his friends to three different house parties the first one slay uh there was a bouncy house drink (laughs) club bus another club (laughs) then we went to some other one slay also was already pretty drunk and then I actually got invited to another one so I was like, do you still want to go to this other place? And then his friends didn't. He did. We both went. It was maybe the, the the fullest one, the biggest one. And there was no alcohol left. And I was being really annoying. And I kind of knew the people, but not really. Like, I had met them one time, whoever this house was. And I, like, broke into their house <laughs> because I was looking. I was like, is there more to drink? And then they were just, I don't know. I was a mess. Um, and they were like, don't come in. And I was like, why not? <laughs> And then I did. And yeah, just public nuisance. So that was day one. Uh, Then the next day, I also hadn't planned to do anything. Um, My friend asked me to go out because they were going to go out to this bar, Tenants of the Trees in Silver Lake. If you've been or if you know, you know. If you don't, you're chilling. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Uh, but no, I actually do like going there. But like it, the reputation, I don't know. Look up the Yelp reviews. <laughs> That's between them and God. But I, yeah, I went over to my friend's house. We just wore all black, had no, no other costume. They gave me blood. I was a vampire again. I've already been a vampire. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I went to that other, whatever. Vampire round two. And again, I was just on my little crazy shit, and Tenants of the Trees was hosting Rebecca Black's Halloween party, and, uh, yeah, so it went in, um, and I just saw, like, every, but by this point, I was drunk, (laughs) again, (sighs) there's, there's a through line here, um, and it's my alcoholism, and it needs to end soon. Before I'm bald. Like, next step, next step is shaving the head, babe. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I saw, like, every YouTuber that I've ever seen before. I was, like... I think I hit on Connor Franta. Or I was just, like, trying to talk to him. And it was, like, a little bit rude city from his end. He was also smaller in person than I thought he would be. And also, who cares? <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I was just, like, drunk on my annoying bit. And seeing people that I was, like... My idol, when you were 14, said hi to Rebecca. She was, like, I... <laughs> That was it. Uh, hi. Um, who else did I see? Oh, I saw Matt King from the Vlog Squad. I just like went up to his face and I was like, you're Matt King. 
I'm like, I'm so sorry, but like, I can't do the LA shit. I just can't do this LA shit. I'm never gonna be like cool, calm, befriends you, and then lets you know that I knew who you were, or just keeps it down to my death. I'm like, the second I see someone I know, I'm like, <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> It's so weird that I know, like, everything about you. <laughs> uh, yeah, who else did I see? I don't know. And the thing is, like, I'm addicted to, like, rejection and embarrassment a little bit. And if there's alcohol on me even more, I'm like, I do not care. It's all silly, silly game, and we're all in the same bar. So, like, are you really that much better than me? It's like almost like I, if I get a bad response, I'm like, ooh, cool. Like I like, I'm like collecting bad reactions. Uh, but I wouldn't say I'm like that annoying. I'm just like, hey, hello, or like, hi, I know you, and then they take it up. They take their creative liberties, babe. Um, who else was there? I don't know. Other fucking people, and it was all silly to me. Uh, and that place is very, like, sceny vibes, very, like, and it used to be even more, but, like, this night in particular, the girls were out, it seemed. Uh, mucus in my throat. <laughs> uh, and then after that, we went to this other after party that was just, like, a couple of dudes in, <laughs> in an apartment, and, uh, a friend was DJing in the apartment and everyone was and I I queened out and I K'd out a little bit <laughs> um yeah yeah I did uh and then left and while we, right when we were leave, uh, when we were waiting for the Uber on the way home no not on the way home when we were waiting for the Uber in the lobby of this person's apartment I fell, and it resulted in one of the funniest videos of me ever. Uh, I posted it on TikTok. Go follow my TikTok, Bag Claim Pod, at Bag Claim Pod. Because uh, my friend was filming her other friend, and I just fall in the background, and it's hilarious, and I'll just, like, insert it here also. <laughs> funny um yeah that was just like a mess but I had a great time being a mess and honestly it was allowed because it was Halloween weekend but so then I spent like Sunday and Monday absolutely dead dead in a ditch mama like fighting for my life like I basically just slept for two days it was like hibernation vibes literally woke up to do like some work things on Monday and that was like it Tuesday rolled around and I was like I'm not doing shit but the WeHo carnival was happening the WeHo Halloween carnival so there's like this Halloween carnival in WeHo where they close out like the main street of WeHo which I can't think the name of like where all the gay bars are but also like a lot of other things and it's like a really large stretch of street that they completely close out for this carnival and it was insane but I hadn't been before because they haven't done it in like four years since like the pandemic and stuff so this was like the first time it was happening and I was like I really want to go but none of my friends wanted to go or other people had other plans and um so I was like okay fine I had given up but then a friend that I had texted earlier um who does drag uh texted me back and they were like oh I was getting ready this whole time I did that's why I didn't text you back uh I'm gonna go and I was like okay I'm gonna be ready in five <laughs> so I busted out the clown costume again did bare minimum clown and got my little uber and went and met my friend and this is what really put the nail in the coffin because I was really like I'm not gonna drink but it was so packed and there was like so much going on and it was like stayed people like it was just like people in the everyone in the streets like super packed like music everywhere I'll insert something if I have it 
I don't know if I even took video, but I was feeling like so anxious because I already do feel anxious in just like a normal, I don't know, going out setting if I'm not drinking or like a bar, but this was literally like streets flooded with drunk people and I'm like, so what now? <laughs> and I'm like with my one friend and <sighs> something really bad's happening. Uh, <laughs> and... Yeah, eventually uh, his other friend got there and we were just like, okay, time to drink. <laughs> I really was like trying to be sober. I was like, I know I can't handle this. I've already drank for two days and it took me two whole days of like just hibernation to come back. But I did it anyway. And I mean, I had fun and we like bopped around and then I just like went home, bopped around the bars, whatever, then just went home. And then I spent... Uh, this, this was Tuesday, then I spent Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, till, like, Friday night, feeling horrible, I slept upwards of 12 hours a day, only waking up to do some work things, or to, like, eat and feed my cats, and other than that, I was just, like, peace out, back to bed, because I was, like, in the absolute depths of hell, like, I at my worst, like, some of the worst that I've felt in a while, like, I just, like, didn't even feel like a person completely dissociated from anything and everything, and, like, feeling horrible about it, just, like, mm, am I ever gonna be human again, like, feel, like, bad trip, like, I was literally, like, on the worst acid trip of my life, zero serotonin in my brain, wanted to not exist, never really get to that sewer slider point, but definitely get to the wish I was never born point hard and it's just so uncomfortable to not feel like there's a person in this body <laughs> so I was really really feeling that hardcore and just horribly depressed and yeah so that's why there was no podcast on Thursday <laughs> because I usually film on Wednesday and when I woke up Wednesday after doing all that on Tuesday I wanted to not be here <laughs> and there was just like zero thoughts going on in my brain like I think if I would have turned the camera on it would have been like you would have seen like a split personality like that was somebody else I know I knew I needed to sleep to just like regain my humanity because that shit freaking sucked <laughs> a lot ah! uh, anyway and yeah, I think I had said that I wanted to bleach my hair anyway. And then as I started getting more energy by Friday night, I was like, and what if I did it now? And then on Saturday, which was yesterday, I was like really feeling like fine again. And I was just like, I haven't done anything for the last how many days? Do I go out? I even was like talking to my friend and I was like, I don't want to drink though. But like, should we go to this bar? And I'm just like, I was going to drink if I went out. <clears throat> like, there is no, I'm going to be sober at the bar, for me, at least. So, yeah, I bleached my hair instead. And I stayed home, and I don't regret it. I don't regret it one bit. Um... But yeah, it's, I, I had a call with my father yesterday and I was just talking about this and he's like, well, yeah, what you need to do is like not drink. And he's like, but you should still like, if you're going to, if you're feeling depressed, like you should still do things and see people. And I'm like, all people want to do is go out to the bar. Most people like it's a lot of things are just revolve around drinking and I don't have that self-control yet. So it's going to be like. The cat's making a sound. It's going to be, like, real hermit vibes for me. It, like, has to be because I just need to remember how horrible I felt for those four days and how I can't drink. I simply cannot drink. Oops. Is it still recording? Yes. I simply, yeah, I simply can't drink. It's just not in the cards for me with, like, 
my mental health, my depression shit, like drinking is really something that it's, I just don't think I can do it. It's getting worse and worse and worse. The way that I feel afterwards, the hangover, it's not worth it. I am not just saying this for myself or maybe I am. I'm explaining. I don't know. Hold me accountable. You won't. (laughs) But yeah, I don't know. Let's move on from that. I think, uh, well, actually, final final note. I'm just going to have to take up more little hobbies. <clears throat> maybe start running finally. Do some, other, like, do something. I don't know. Maybe next time you'll see me, I will have a shaved head because it's, like, all that I could do to not go out on this next Saturday night. <laughs> so, I mean, if that's what it takes, girl, I'll freaking shave my head. I don't, I don't know. Whatever, whatever to keep me from putting myself in a situation where I know I'm going to drink and it's going to be horrible. <clears throat> and yeah, I don't know. Is that shit is so normalized. I'm like on people drink. Hey, get off of there. People drinking TikTok and it's like all the comments are like, that's what your 20s are for. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Y'all clearly don't got rotten brain. Or when you're talking about a hangover, your hangover is just like, I feel really bad, but I don't know. It, it's not seeming like these people's hangovers is like questioning every single decision I've ever made and hating all of it and thinking everyone hates me and wants me dead, including me. <laughs> so rock on. Next topic. New tooth development, new tooth dream development, new tooth dream development. We have... We're evolving. We're growing. We're evolving and we're growing. (laughs) Um, We're reaching new heights. We are... We're calcifying. (laughs) We're in a... Fluoroidian state fluoride i don't know whatever shut up stupid okay so i had a new dream and uh this time i looked in the mirror and my front bottom teeth these bad guys these baby boys um i had baby teeth (laughs) my teeth had like rescinded recent re gone back into like my gums and they were like barely poking out through the skin <laughs> and I literally had baby teeth when will the nightmare end why is it always teeth I really can't do this anymore <sighs> yeah I don't know why it's always fucking the fucking motherfucking fuck teeth of fuck sucks because it always feels really weird and it feels really real and I wake up so paranoid there's like a lot of background noise right now on Sundays there's like a house around here that just like plays music out loud and they also like will speak into a microphone maybe I live by like a church actually I don't know (laughs) maybe that's what it is um yeah there's a lot of noise going on right now uh but yeah so I just new new baby teeth shit hate it um two nights ago friday night i when i was starting to feel better but also still feeling bad uh and didn't want to go out or do anything i was like There's like a million fruit flies in my house. That's why my cat's going crazy. I just put out a thing to catch them, but it's not really working. And I don't know why. I mean, I live like on the floor level. And so like, I feel like when the seasons start to change, like, I don't know if it's getting colder outside or something. It's like insects will appear. (sighs) Shit kind of sucks. Oh my God. Look how cute Kevin is. Oi. Gorgeous baby. Oh, you're jealous. You're jealous, I heard. Mm. Um. 
Yeah, so uh, to make myself feel better, I was like, let me have a Medea movie marathon. Because <laughs> I saw one of the movies was like on Netflix and I hadn't seen it before. And also I've seen like, I don't know, TikToks, memes of like Medea shit. And it seemed very lighthearted. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> oh my God. First of all, the acting was a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought these were like silly little movies of man and wig. No, the man in the wig is like just the initial draw. It's just the TikTokable content, mama. Like Tyler Perry ahead of the curve. Um, but I've actually never seen a Medea TikTok. Maybe I'm just thinking about like Twitter memes or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, but yeah, so I thought it was gonna be something completely different than what it was. Two minutes into the movie, ugh, spouse abuse spousal abuse home but husband hitting wife like it went from like they were celebrating this like lady's birthday uh the main character's birthday blah 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 she's like having a good time to like he's hitting her really quickly and i was like oh no <laughs> because i'm like i put this on to feel better uh, but I kind of did. I don't know. Not not because of that. Not because I was like, this is so <laughs> chill, 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 chill. No, I felt better because I was like, okay, this is like, it was like surprised. I was like, wait, this is like not a silly movie. I'm like, why did Tyler Perry not just make movie without people in costume as him, him as people in costume? Like, I don't know. I thought like it could have done well on its own. Like the, the storylines and the writing and everything was like pretty good. Um, or maybe I just have a low bar for things. I don't know. I do also just like love a gimmick. So sue me. Uh, but yeah, it went from that to like literal child essay molestation, um, to cheating, to evil mother that uh, I don't know, to, like, abandoned foster child to, uh, what else, to, uh, freaking single stay, not stay at home mom, like, working mom, I don't know, there's just, like, so many, it was just, like, when you think there couldn't be another thing, I was like, oh, okay, the movie's about this, it was like, and there's another layer, <laughs> and it gets and it does get worse. Uh, and in the end, the ending was like, let go and let God forgive or some shit. I don't even know what the message was at the end. It was kind of, it was a good watch though. Like maybe it was all stupid, but like he, the beats, he kept me on my tippy toes. And I do recommend that, but maybe not if you're trying to make yourself better after a depressive episode, because that might be the final straw for you. Medea's family reunion might be the final straw for you. Oh, and Kiki Palmer was in it. What? I was so surprised. I don't know if this was pre or post Tequila and the Bee, but yeah, I was living for it. I'm a Kiki head. Um. Oh, I also had another weird dream where I was like in the car with all my childhood friends and one of their moms or like two of my male childhood friends a who are like straight men uh and their like parents were driving and like out of nowhere like i don't know why they decided to start playing charlie xcx and i was like oh my god you guys are into charlie and then the entire car ride we were just going back and forth playing our charlie songs and we were really just like in the car queening out to charlie with like my childhood straight friends and i i was i was like what is the deeper meaning here what is going on um, but yeah, I don't know. It was like healing. <laughs> it really was. Uh, I feel like I kind of want to talk more about like my depression. This is a shorter episode. I'm really just doing it to get it done. It does feel good to do it. I, once I turn the camera on and I start talking to the microphone, I'm like, this is my calling. <laughs> I'm like, this is easy. Uh, but like getting myself to do that from the pits of Soren's whole 
seventh circle of Dante's Inferno pussy bussy hole. A little impossible. Uh, so that's why it's late. I also was thinking about like, well, I haven't really decided if I hate that I do that with my mouth. I'm so sorry, listener, unless you like it and it's like ASMR for you. Mouth noise it. Um, do I look fat right now? I'm literally, I'm feeling like a pig in a blanket. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I was like, should I switch the day to Sunday? Because I was kind of like, what if we do like Sunday scaries together? But then that would also mean like I would have to film it on Saturday. So like I wouldn't really be spending Sunday scaries with you. But like maybe that still could be fun. But also I can't tell if I'm just making that a, a decision to like overcompensate for the fact that like I'm several days late to posting this. So I guess we'll see if next episode is on Sunday or Thursday. <laughs> Um, I do want next week's episode to possibly be what I said this one was going to be, which is maybe with my friend and showing you music, specifically one song that I have done, um, like part of it. It's a little tease uh, because I also want to like make myself listen to it on camera. Exposure therapy, exposure therapy. Um, I'm just, like, really shy when it comes to my feelings and stuff. <sighs> That's kind of it. Sorry if it's not enough. I do have this, uh... By the way, sorry, pause. My fucking wrist still hurts from like five episodes ago when I I can't remember if I lied about what happened on the podcast or not because it's embarrassing I don't know what <laughs> I don't think I usually lie but like okay so I got into like a physical fight with like a man that went from being like romantic to like mm, actually physical and then I fell with the entire weight of my body onto my hand oh wait maybe I think I lied to my parents about it because I was just like I I can't I can't, exp I don't want to be explaining the dynamics of, like, it was hot gay shit, and it turned into, like, abuse real quick to my parents, so I think I did lie to them about what happened, but it still really hurts. I It doesn't hurt that much, like, just to move it around and stuff. It's, like, a slight pain, but, like, I can't do a push-up. I can't do a plank, even. Like, I can't, this hurts so much. Like, look at this. Um, do you see how my hand can go like this? I don't know if you could tell, but it's like, if I put my elbows like at the same, like I can't, and there's also like a bump here that is not here. Like, do you see how like flush <laughs> this is? And if I push them together, oh my God, <laughs> this is like, it literally feels like, <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe so painful actually like horrible so i i think i need an x-ray and also this pain is maybe something i should channel into reminding me not to drink because i will end up in the streets horny fighting with a man let's open this goddamn panda express thing from last night i saved it for y'all just kidding i didn't i don't like them but i saw it right before i started filming and i was like what if i open this on camera This shit tastes so nasty. I don't know who is about these. Yuck. God, I hope it's something good. <sighs> Assert yourself. Your ideas are worthwhile. Panda Express. A. And what the fuck are we doing here? 
We're asserting. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry for the late. What I was. Sorry. Illy. Lila's. Bye.